happy Friday. Um, it is not nine o'clock yet, but I have decided to prepare lunch uh, early, so I'm sure that it's made basically when it needs to be made when I before I start um, doing any kind of other activities. So I'm making um, gratin de courgette. Um, it's basically like a oven baked courgette with rice, some onions, some parmesan cheese. James doesn't like cheese, so he has a version with curry. Uh, but all I've done for the minute is put some onions to cook and I am cutting up courgettes now to make uh, the rest. Now the courgettes are diced and in the pot. I'm just gonna leave them in there until they are completely cooked. Okay, so when all the courgette is cooked, and I usually wait until it kind of starts uh, falling apart because you want it to melt a bit in the bake. So it needs to be at the start while the pulp inside, if you can call it, or the flesh, I don't know how you call it, starts to get a bit more mushy. Then you just add some uh, cooked rice into the pan. Uh, I can't give you any clear proportions because I kind of made as I go along and some days there will be more rice, some days more cautious depending on what we have. Um, so it's just really up to taste. This is when in our house the recipe goes in two directions. So for me uh, it sticks to the more traditional way of adding parmesan cheese to the mix and stirring. And James doesn't like cheese, so I'm putting uh, curry powder uh, in it for him. So I'll stir everything and I'll show you after. So this is how it looks like. So I have three with cheese, because Owen is probably going to have half and half if he does eat it. But um, half for one meal and half for the other one. And then there's two meals for James here and two meals for me here. I like to make big batches of meals and then... We don't really mind eating the same thing twice in a row. It just saves money and time. And oh, this is a good recipe if you want to make meals in advance to freeze. Uh, I actually have quite a few in the freezer. I usually buy those little uh, aluminium um, trays, you know, like the bake ones. And I just stick them then in the freezer this way. So you can just stick them out of the freezer, put them in the oven. And it's like a homemade ready meal. So for, normally for this recipe you put some cheese on top before you put it in the oven and um, James doesn't like cheese so I don't put any but the top uh, of the rice does go crispy so it still creates kind of a crusty <laughs> effect. Um, because I don't like cheese that's cooked and cooked and cooked what I do then is that I just put um, cling film or tin foil over the top and I just put them in the oven when uh, just before we eat them so it warms them up and um, cooks the cheese at the same time so that's what I'm going to do now. So today so far I have been doing all the cooking you've seen and um, I was just uh, going through all my emails etc and today I am expecting for sure one delivery which is all the fabric for the leggings I have ordered and I can't stop looking through the window to see if there's a van coming every time I hear a noise. Can't wait for this to arrive that's definitely being delivered today and I am um, also hoping that today two other things will come. Uh, I am looking to make my uh, ukulele um, uh, case, well, I'm case for it. I'm talking about it like if it was a person. And oh, I have somebody visiting me. Hello, who is that? Me. Is, is it Steve? Steve on a pig. <laughs> okay. um. Steve on a pig. <laughs> Can I finish talking? Okay. Hold on, I need to talk. Um, no way. So I've ordered a zip and some piping no to do the edges. I've never used piping no before and I have no never really made any cases for musical instruments. No so I'm just going to have a go at it. I think I can think about how the construction would be. In general so I'm gonna give a go at that and I will keep you updated on that so if it comes today I might do that this afternoon or at the weekend and if it doesn't then I will just have to wait and I will be making probably quite a few pair of leggings this afternoon to start on uh, my orders for next week Afi has been sleeping really well he's been asleep in his cot for about two hours I want to try and get him used to have naps in his cot if I can um during the day especially in the morning so then it would be the time where i can sew and he's upstairs and he's quiet and all that 
and James took advantage of him napping to just go <laughs> for a nap himself in the morning. He he got up quite early this morning with the boys, so um, at least he is just uh, catching up on any sleep he has missed. And yeah, that's about it for now. So I just found out some really, really exciting news. Um, I used to go to a ballet class before I got pregnant with Alfie and I had to stop when about I was about 16 or 17 weeks pregnant and um, I was looking forward to going back but the teacher wasn't sure she would be able to keep the class up and um, she found a way to keep it running by making it 45 minutes instead of an hour and it's starting on Tuesday which means that on Tuesday I'm starting ballet again and I was starting to get terrified at the fact that I might have to find another form of exercise and when you are overweight you want to do something well overweight to the stage I, uh, I am at uh, I used to be 40 kilos heavier so then it was very hard to just move around really but even now I still carry a lot of weight and um, I just want to make sure I'm not damaging my joints while I'm exercising but at the same time exercising helps me to lose that weight and ballet so far is the best thing I have found as well as yoga and so I'm starting postnatal yoga on the 14th I think it would be on Monday mornings and now we also have the ballet every Tuesday evening so I am super excited because I was terrified about having to find another form of exercise which I would not like or having to join a gym I don't feel comfortable in and I love this teacher and the class is always good fun and there is ladies from probably about 18 right through 60 plus which is amazing everybody is a different shape and size nobody cares about everybody else's level it's really really good so i'd be going back there on tuesday hello baby do you have a big sleep <laughs> happy now and was really good and ate all his lunch so he's allowed to have a kinder egg we don't have them often, it's usually a special treat. So we're going to open it and show you what's inside. So what do you have? Yeah, it's mine. Uh, yeah, okay, do you want to open it? Yes, it's really good to open chocolate. Will they help you then? Yeah, the chocolate is warm, it's good to open. Oh, it's very soft now, but you melted it a bit. Hold on. I'm going to put the camera down and we'll show them whenever we've opened it, okay? Egg. What did you get? Did you get a yellow egg inside? Will we open the yellow egg? Yeah, and see, I can know how to open white eggs. Know how to open white eggs. You know how to open white eggs, but not yellow eggs? But only big people know how to... Oops, what's that? Huh? Oh, hold on, you're missing a bit. Yeah, for this little know me. Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me see. What is that? <laughs> I think that's like paint you can do with that. Are there any paint there? See those little dots there? Huh? If you put water on the brush and you go over it, probably is paint. A little painting. But I'm to fry it. Why, why don't you eat your chocolate first and then we'll get the, some paper and some water to try it. So can you explain to me why you're wearing those glasses again? Yeah. Why? Because it's my party. It's your party? Yeah. What are we celebrating today? We celebrate waiting soon, but everyone is is taking um to open all the presents to brought to me. Alright. That what we celebrating. Yeah, opening your presents, is that the celebration? Yeah. So we hang up decorations. It will be a decoration with a boy on it. Okay. But is it your birthday or something? Yes. Again? Yes. You have a lot of birthdays in a year? Yeah, so I so the birthday I'm going to be sad. The birthday before July. But I am sad right now. Where are you? Yeah. Well, you can't go to school then? Because you need to be forced to go to that school you're going to on Tuesday. What are we going to do about that? 
But and when when my parents are walking back, when my parents are walking back to school. Oh, you shrink. Shrink back to four. Yeah. Okay, so after this party, you will shrink back to four. No, only me. Only you. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so here you go, my party done. Oh wow. Are you going to shrink back then? Not yet. Oh, not yet. Will you have the party first? No. Okay, we're going to have a party and we'll be back later. Bye. Look what just came in the post. I'm going to open it now and show you. So this is what I received. So I got more of this one that you already have seen. Then I have... I have made a yellow one for Alfie and those, but I decided to go for that. Um, it's like a turquoise blue green. Then this one I love, it's a little red riding hood one. Then this one has little lions and suns and castles. This one is like a playground foresty one. Then I have some plain fabrics to make the puffs and all this. Then this one is like a little garden one. And this one are horses. So Owen is about to do some arts and craft. He has a gigantic box with loads of supplies. And he's going to use those crayons and some stickers to start with. Yeah, so even though I've received my um, fabrics, I have decided that I'm going to do my ukulele case first. Um, and I have started, well, I'm basically using a final tutorial online that explains how to make a string instrument case from your instrument <laughs> so I'm trying to follow this tutorial and I hope it will work if it does I will link it uh, down there or I will share it maybe tomorrow if it's not finished today but um, I don't want to share something if it's not going to work so I will wait then but for the minute I need some kind of felt to make my fabric thicker and I'm about to look for that now. Down. Mm -hmm. We're not coming out. You need to squeeze harder. Like that, mm -hmm. so I'm over here. We can put any. My aunt is not. I need one more thing to do. Mm -hmm. and then it's finished. Okay. I want to do one more faculty. Can do it. Can why? I think this will be finished right now. So just spent quite a few hours working on the ukulele case. I thought it's not finished. I'm about halfway through. I thought I would show you how this tonight. I probably won't do any more tonight. I'll do more tomorrow. So this is gonna be. Okay, you need to imagine that there is the back of it. So it's going to have this fabric on the top and the bottom um, with the red piping. And then the sides have a red zip. And I need to do, I have done the panel for the back of it. So I need to put it on the back. And then inside, I need to do all the lining for the inside and sew it in. There will be quite a lot of hand stitching to close it off by hand. But I've decided to use some um, pretty stitches. If I can focus on that, I'll show you. There you go. So on um, sides, I have these ones. 
and on the front I have these ones like this and the sides yes so panels on the side have these same for around the zip so I'm quite happy so far with what I've done it's definitely the most technical thing I've ever made in my life I've actually decided to do more of my case um, I had pinned it in front of the TV and I just decided to do all the outer uh, part of it so you'll have a better idea what it looks like it's really not perfect and the, it's a bit too big for it but I don't really want to use it to carry it around it's more to protect it inside the house so it doesn't need to be super snug inside but I'll show you what I've done so far um, but let's say halfway through I still have to do the handle and all the lining inside but all the outer case is done so this is what it looks like from the side and the top is like this and there's a zip that opens all the way to the middle of that and there's a ukulele so the inside as you can see it's not finished there's going to be some lining uh, inside but I will be doing that tomorrow because it's a bit too late for now I'm going to stop the vlog now because it is actually almost 11 at night I'm sorry I haven't really vlogged that much today but I just spent quite a few hours on the case and I just thought there was not much point in me um, vlogging about it that much because I was just focused trying to not make a mess of it. I did break a sewing needle, um, was a washing machine, a sewing machine needle. Um, I've put pins in my fingers I don't know how many times and I have had to rip seams quite a few times because I made mistakes along the way but um, in the end I'm quite happy with the result given I had to use quite a few techniques I didn't know before I started so yeah I'm quite happy with the result so far so I hope you have a good evening and I'll see you tomorrow bye <music>